Hey everybody, welcome back to TCS Start Frogs. My name is Travis, and today we're visiting a tropical greenhouse in California. So I went over to uh, California to trade some frogs and some plant clippings with some friends that are over there. And uh, before I went over there, they offered to show me this really awesome greenhouse over at Sacramento State University. So of course, I didn't turn down their offer to go see a uh, greenhouse full of tropical plants. And they were nice enough to let me get a bunch of clippings out of there, um, as well as just kind of geek out about plants all day and teach me some stuff. because. Uh, even though I know quite a bit about frogs, I don't know that much about plants. So it was really interesting, and uh, I hope you enjoy this video. So let's get to it. So in this part of the greenhouse, there was a uh, big vivarium-like enclosure. No animals in it, um, but probably equivalent to about 200 gallons. Um, maybe like 5 or 6 feet long, 4 feet high and just full of all sorts of cool like margravia and orchids um, it was really overwhelming there's just all sorts of different plants there that um, I really didn't know the name of hardly any of them uh, there's a whole bunch of really interesting ant plants right here um, if you look closely at the base of the plants there's like a uh, a bulbous root structure and I guess ants will actually uh, live inside there and it's a symbiotic relationship um, here's a whole bunch of different uh, epiphytic ferns and other tropicals uh, like I said I don't know the name of a lot of these different things um, it's just crazy how much stuff you can fit into a greenhouse there's some some large monstera there there was a whole bunch of uh, pleurothallid orchids um, a bunch of different types of uh, philodendrons so it was really interesting to just see all this stuff and uh, kind of got me thinking about getting a greenhouse of my own someday so that might be in the future um, it was really impressive all the different stuff that was in there that was blooming so it was kind of neat to see and in this room here um, this room was probably the most impressive. This was just filled with uh, just about every type of um, bromeliad that you could think of. The whole center section was all different types of uh, ferns and palms. Uh, there were a few orchids in this room as well. Um, and the entire facility, they've just got a ton of uh, misters and also uh, fans to help keep the humidity and the air circulation up so it was really impressive I was kind of overwhelmed with all the stuff there was to look at um, this bromeliad right here was massive you can see next to my hand it was like three three and a half feet wide um, and you know I I got distracted just looking at all the stuff that was on the shelves but I started noticing that there was stuff uh, you know hanging from the roof and there's just stuff everywhere in this greenhouse it was a really impressive collection to get to see in person um, I think they had just about every type of bromeliad that I've ever seen in a book there um, here in this section there's a a whole bunch of more tropical aeroids and a whole bunch of stuff I don't know the name of uh, but it was really neat to see all this different stuff and uh, just kind of get an idea of how greenhouses work. Another thing that I noticed was that uh, some of the species that I keep in vivariums would get a lot bigger in a greenhouse or even just have a different shape or color to it in a greenhouse um, because of the difference in um, growing conditions. So that was pretty interesting. Um, it was pretty cool. There was just kind of uh, plants everywhere and stuff that I'm not real familiar with. Um, it was kind of like visiting a miniature rainforest. 
this whole entire room was just orchids. Um, there's a pretty neat uh, Ludicia discolor there. Um, I don't know the names of the rest of these. Well, there's a, a couple more jewel orchids there, some Makodes. Um, but there was a ton of Talansias or air plants in here as well. Um, it was really just awesome to see. And uh, some of the stuff that was in there was just huge. Like these bromeliads in the center of this room were like three and a half, four feet tall and, you know, four feet wide. Um, just really impressive. And uh, just kind of crazy how many different species were in there. Really neat looking plants and um, it was really awesome. So uh, just wanted to give a shout out to uh, Eric and, and Dan for uh, showing me this greenhouse. It was uh, just really fun and I had a great time out in Sacramento. So here are some of the plants that I got when I went over there. Uh, a lot of this stuff they just kind of gave me a few clippings of or some starter plants. So I was really excited to get a few of these because uh, I don't have any of them in my plant collection already. And it was pretty neat to get some stuff that's new. Um, I always enjoy trying to grow different types of plants. So it's always nice to get uh, just some clippings and trade some stuff with friends. All right, thanks for tuning in today. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, go ahead and give it a like. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel already, I'd uh, love it if you'd go ahead and subscribe. And if you have any suggestions for future videos, let me down uh, down in the comments. And uh, if you want to see more videos like this related to plants and greenhouses and things like that, let me know as well. Um, it was something I really enjoyed doing, but I could also just stick to the frogs. So let me know uh, what you guys' opinions are of that. And if you guys want to see any of my social media, I'll leave all the links in the description. And if you want to buy anything on my website, don't forget that code FROG10 for 10% off your purchase of anything on my website, including frogs. Thanks for watching, and you guys have a great day.